welcome back to Kicking Crochet. Uh, it's almost Thanksgiving, which means that it's almost Black Friday, which means a whole bunch of deals. And so I wanted to go through and do a review of Burl's crochet hooks. So I have mentioned them in the past, but I haven't ever reviewed them. And I actually now have tried all but one of their types of crochet hooks. So I feel like I really have the ability to review them now. I hesitated to do it at first because I hadn't tried all the different styles. And these hooks are not cheap. They're really expensive. So I don't want you to go and spend a bunch of money on them if you're not going to like them. So I wanted to talk about the different kinds that they have and um, what I like about them, what I don't like about them. So we'll start off with the cheapest and that is their streamline hooks. So that's like this one. They have the wooden ones and then they also have the swirl ones which are made of like a resin plastic. And these ones are the cheapest. Last time I checked, I think they were like $18. So if you get them on sale, they're significantly cheaper than that. And the nice thing about these is that they are just beautiful. They have so many different styles, especially the streamlined swirl. Um, they're not my favorite. And the reason why is really just has to do with the way that I crochet. I have a tendency to use my pointer finger up here on my stitches to like make sure that they're in the right place and so I really like it if the ergonomic part is a little bit closer to the tip of the hook so these ones are just a little bit long for me they're still pretty comfortable I do find them more comfortable than like a standard metal crochet hook but if I was going to be pick between one of these and like a standard like my favorite non furls hooks are clover hooks either the soft touch or the amore I actually prefer the soft touch slightly more but um if I was going to choose between one of these and the clover hook, I would pick the clover. That being said, they are beautiful and they're works of art, so if that length isn't going to bother you, then absolutely you should get these. Um, the hooks, they have a nice deep notch, uh, not, not too deep, so it's not going to snag on stuff, but it does catch the yarn well. They're well made. I haven't had problems with them breaking, but I also take really good care of them. So that's the streamline hooks. And the wood ones are kind of nice. They're, they're sanded really smoothly, but they are going to be a little bit grippier than some things. And so they're nice for like slippery yarns like bamboo, stuff like that. Okay, moving up the line. Next up are the Odyssey hooks. And these are the ones that you hear most people um, really, really like. And I like them too. These are made out of metal. You can see here these this one's an H this one's an I and they are slightly different lengths I'm not sure why they just are um, they're gonna be the same width as the streamlined swirls but they're a little bit shorter and I think that's one of the reasons I like them better again because I like to be able to reach up here easily um, some people don't like how heavy they are I actually think that they feel really balanced and nice so that's nice um, I feel like they're a little bit sturdier than the streamlines. I worry about breaking this one if I just like throw it in a bag. I don't worry about these at all. Although I have heard that some of the smaller sizes with the Odyssey hooks can break. I've never had a problem with them. But I don't have one of these in smaller than a size G. So I can't speak to the smaller sizes. So if a heavy hook is going to bother you, you don't want these. Uh, and if you want a longer hook, then you don't want these. Otherwise, I really like these. These are some of my favorites. And these ones, um, again, I haven't looked at the prices super recently, but last time I checked, they were $22 each. So a little bit more than the streamlines, but not excessively more than the streamlines. Okay, now if you go up the line, the next step up are the candy shop hooks. And these ones are really fun to look at. Um, this one, shoot, I think it's a size I. If I remember right and I love the color and this one is actually incredibly comfortable in my hand it is like exactly the right fit for my hand so if you look at this it's gonna be even smaller than the Odyssey significantly smaller than the Odyssey and I love that I really love having a short hook but if that's not your jam then you're not gonna like the candy shop hooks however I actually don't recommend these and the reason why well I've got a couple reasons one is it's squeaky if you use it on acrylic yarn um, it's made with like a auto body paint coating, I think, and it literally squeaks when you crochet and that can get kind of annoying. The other problem, and I don't know if it's just this specific one or if it's a problem with the line, this is the only candy shop hook I own. Um, I found that the notch is not quite as deep and I don't know if that's because of the paint coating or what, but I find that um, I lose loops off my hook significantly more with this one. However, I love 
it's just so incredibly comfortable. If you look at the candy shop hooks on the Furls website, you'll notice that the design here is different depending on what size you go, you get. So they're color coded by size and the design is different. So some of them are going to have the thickest part down a little bit farther and so I wouldn't like those as much. So it really is going to depend on the size, how this one feels while you're crocheting it. So that's going to be, like I said, significantly shorter. So just for comparison, we've got the Candy Shop, the Odyssey, and the Streamline. You can see they're significantly different in length. The hook shape is similar in all of them. It's deepest in the Streamline and narrowest in the Candy Shop, in my experience. Okay, and the Candy Shop, I want to say, was $54 dollars when I bought this so I definitely I just I don't recommend it they're fun and they're super colorful but for that price I would not get this hook okay moving on now the real top of the line for them are the alpha series and I was so reluctant I put off buying one of these for so long because I thought there's no way I'm gonna spend like a hundred dollars on a crochet hook but I finally broke down and tried one just because I wanted to be able to review all of the hooks when I did this video. And so I bought one and it's beautiful. I think this was the Rosewood. I just bought one of their regular alpha hooks and I loved it. It's incredibly comfortable, really similar in feel to the candy shop. You can see comparatively. I do like this one actually is more comfortable in my hand than the alpha, but the hook on the alpha, it just works better for me than the candy shop. And part of that might be the angle here, that this angle comes down sh more shallowly and there's only a little bit here. Um, either way, and these are both size I, so you can see the alpha is slightly longer. The candy shop is the, hoard the shortest of the hooks, but I really, really like the alpha. So I wouldn't suggest spending $100 for it, but if you can get it, sometimes they're like half off for Black Friday. I think it's worth a try if you're looking for an ergonomic hook. I have wrist pain a lot, and so, the ergonomic hooks actually help me a lot. So we've got Candy Shop, the Alpha, the Odyssey, that's another Odyssey, and the Streamline. So lengthwise, if you care how long your hook is, I prefer shorter hooks, so I really like the feel of the Candy Shop and the Alpha. I use the Odyssey a ton, it's like my workhorse, and I almost never touch my Streamline. So I loved this one so much that they just had a buy one get one free sale so I picked up two more alphas so now I haven't used these ones yet but I have a G and an H and an I. And the wood's all going to look different for all of these. I love these two. These are both rosewood and you can see that one's darker than the other one even though it's the same type of wood. This one's mahogany and I don't love the look, at, look of it but it's fine. They're also very lightweight. These are going to be the lightest of the hooks. It's a very lightweight wood. Now the downside of the Alpha, besides the price, is going to be um, just they're so fragile. So if you order one of those, they're going to come in a box. So the first one I ordered came in this box and it really, you could just totally store it in there and it would be secure. And then I don't know if they just got cheaper or what, but the next two I ordered came in this box, which is pretty, but it was just wrapped in tissue paper in like a cardboard slot, so a little bit different. What I did is I purchased this just from Amazon. So Furls sells some hook cases and they're super expensive. I just ordered this. It's a fountain pen case from Amazon and way cheaper. And it has these protectors so they don't rub against each other. And you can fit any of the hooks that I just showed you in here. You can just slide them in. And so they won't rub against each other. They won't break each other. So the streamline and the alpha, they all fit. And then you can close them up, zip them, and it's gonna protect your hooks. So if you're gonna get some furls hooks, especially if you're gonna spend the money on the alphas, I definitely recommend getting a case either like this or they have some, uh, the furls specific ones or other just Google fountain pen case. I'll put the link for this one in the description, but any fountain pen case should work for that. Okay, so that's not quite all. Furls also has Tunisian crochet hooks. So I have a few of these here in a variety of sizes. And I actually really, really like their Tunisian hooks. Um, so these two, I don't know how to pronounce the type of wood, but it's P-A-D-A-U-K, Padauk or Padauk or something. I don't know, they're super pretty. 
Um, I love the little end knobs. Um, again, you're gonna have a problem with being breakable, so some sort of like knitting needle case can work for these. The only downside for these ones is that they have metal bands, which I think is super pretty, but it can catch just a tiny bit on the yarn. It doesn't actually snag it, but it kind of adds a little resistance and catches just a tiny bit. These two don't have that problem. This is the uh, King Snake and Cruella or something, I don't remember. Um, but they are just two-toned wood. You can still feel the joints just slightly on this, but um, you don't notice it at all while you're working with it. And this one, I don't feel the joints at all. It's very smooth. So these are the Tunisian crochet hooks. I like them a lot. They're super pretty. And then the other things that I bought from Pearls, um, oh my gosh, elusive fork. You can get these way cheaper. Um, this one's nice, it's pretty, it's cool, but there's nothing special about this lucid fork that any lucid fork you found anywhere else wouldn't have. So get it if you want it, it it's fine. Um, the other thing, I actually really like this, it's so cute, and I have another one, I couldn't find it, but it's like a white and red wood peppermint swirl. And this is just a needle case for your like tapestry needles. So I've got six in here, you can fit five or six, and they come in a smaller size or a bigger size, but I think the actual opening is the same size for both, so it doesn't really matter. So um, I actually really love that. It's one of my favorite things that I've ever bought from them. Relatively inexpensive, so a good little gift um, if you're looking for something small. Okay, so that is my review of the Furls hooks. Hopefully that helps you make a decision about whether you might want to give them a try because I know that they are a serious investment. Um, that is it. So I've got a link in the description if you want to check them out. It is an affiliate link, so if you click it and purchase, I get a small commission at no cost to you. However, this is not a paid review. Nobody asked me to do it, and I own all these hooks and I use them. So that's it. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Enjoy your shopping and your turkey.